So you have a brand new Drupal website and you want to know how to add new content to it. The first thing you need to do is be able to log in. Now, normally the login doesn't show up like it does on our example site. You may have a login link on the bottom. It may be up here in the corner. But anytime you need to log in, all you have to do is type in the website and then add the word user. This will take you to the generic Drupal login site. So I'm going to log in as a content editor. And the way I can add new content is just go to the add content. And you can see that this site is set up for three different content types. We can do articles, which show up on the front page. We can do a basic page, which I'll show you in a little bit in another video. Or we can do a blog entry. And you can see I have a couple blog entries right here under my blog. We can also create a new blog entry from the blog page. So let's just create a basic article. So we're going to say add content article. We're going to give it a title. The tags build up uh, like an index that you'd find in the back of the book. So we could call this test article uh, example. You can use these menu items to, to format your article for you. So we could make this in like a, a level two heading and you can also do a bulleted list. Or you can change that to a numbered list and either way you want. Now, if you know HTML, you can switch to the plain editor and you can, you can see how this is just basic HTML. And if we switch it back, you can see how it changed it back. Now, as a content editor, you, and depending upon how the administrator set up the website, you may have a lot of different options. For example, we can turn on the comment settings. Right now it's closed, but we can turn on the, the comments for this article. We can set who, the, who it's authored by and when. And most importantly, we can say if it's published or promoted to the front page. And in this case, we want both of these to happen. You can preview it, but all of it, always, whenever you make any changes or add anything to an article, you have to go to the bottom of the page and save it. And here's our new article. If we go back to the home page, we can either do that on this tab here. We can click on the name of the website, or you can go up to your content editor menu bar and click on the icon in the corner. And here you can see this is our original article, and here's our new article that we've added, along with our different uh, tags that relate to this article. You can do the same thing to add a blog entry. So we could go add and add a blog entry. And you can see it's very, very similar, except it's going to publish in the blog area. And again, the publishing options, we don't want it to go to the front page, but we do want it to be published. So here's our blog entry. And if we go to the home, 
you can see it doesn't show up there, but if we go into our blog, our testing site is right there. Now keep in mind that as you work on the website, you're, it's going live as soon as you publish it. Let's say we want to delete that. This gear, as we mouse over, this gear shows up, and this allows us to delete entries. And now our sample is gone. Now you know how to add new content to your website. Just go to Add Content, pick the content type that's available to you from the network administrator, and then type in your text.